It's been over three years since the community of Irvin experienced dramatic flooding there, displaced many of its residents, and one family hasn't been back to their home since and even had to move to another town. Meanwhile, their house in Irvin sits empty with no funding for its repair. Jeanette Roche followed up with the Chatfields and files this report. For Jamie Chatfield and her four kids, the recent floods have brought back a flood of bad memories. It was like, bam, we were flooded. And we didn't get anything, like no pre-warning, no, okay, go down your basement, pull everything out. It was just, you woke up in the morning and it was there. In the blink of an eye, this family of six lost their home when the southeastern part of the province flooded in 2010. And this is what's left a shell of a house that's been gutted and vacant for three years because they can't afford to fix it. We just got a letter in from the government that says because it took us too long to fix our house, because we couldn't raise the finances, they have closed our file and they don't want anything else to do with us. The Chatfields have since had to leave the town of Irvin and move to Bow Island, but they're still paying the mortgage, fees and property taxes on a home that they're not living in. When you have like we had geysers come through our basement floor. We had a, f a hole blown through our basement wall. I said, like, do you think we did it ourselves? Like, they almost made us feel like criminals. Like we were just trying to get as much money from them as we possibly could. We were kind of left out in the in the cold. We were ignored. Um, nobody cared. Across the street from the Chadfield's empty home, Wanda White is constantly reminded that her daughter and grandkids didn't get the help they needed. Where is the government? Where did all the money go that was given to this part of the province to help us all get back on our feet? Where is it? White says she feels her family should be allowed to apply for help along with all the recent flood victims. In terms of the flooding that we have just had, um, only people that were affected by flooding in June 2013 uh, are eligible to apply to the 2013 Southern Alberta disaster recovery program. For the Chatfields, that answer feels like a slap in the face, but they're ready to move forward, putting the past behind them with an uncertain future about a little house in Irvine that waits for their return. Jeanette Roche, CTV News, Bow Island. The province admits they do close the files of applicants who have not submitted receipts for property repairs over extended periods of time. However, those applicants can have their files reopened by calling Alberta Disaster Relief.